happened at one of our, this uh, ski expansion meetings about the S&P. It was great. We had, we dominated the room. There was a ton of people there speaking, about 30 or so from the pro ski expansion, the anti-ski expansion, about five from the uh, pro. And by the end, the pro people who were, get, were getting up there and were saying, like, were like you know, I was going to get up here and tell you that the... Uh, 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 to support the ski expansion, but I, I'm wondering where all the people, the community support for it is, is here. And you could feel the energy was on our side. But it got to a point uh, where there was so there was like five speakers left, and if less they s decided to sit, step down, everything would have to be tabled till next week. And they refused to not speak, so we lost all that energy and lost and lost in the next city council meeting. Uh, so I think having a, a around below ten is probably good. It's, after that, you start droning on or start getting into trouble with losing energy. As long as they know, people know what they're going to be talking about, and I think that it's always good to have like some point people who are like, you take this point, you hammer this point in, I'll come in make this point, since we only have three minutes to really articulate, you can only articulate well one point in that, uh, in each time you get up to the street. Alright, well I'm sorry. Hey. Yeah, I uh, say, say hello to the world. Yep. Is this live streamed? Yeah. It is, this is live streaming. I'm Nick Patterson. <laughs> now the CIA knows. Now, now the CIA watching? knows. Yeah, how many people are watching right now? Uh, right now we have two viewers Woo! directly, but uh, this got tweeted out to like thousands of viewers, and there are other uh, streams that pick us up and rebroadcast, so I really don't know how many people might be watching this right now. I don't, I don't know how many cities across the country have done this yet. You know, small towns, not. The bigger the bigger cities have, like San Francisco and New York and L.A. And really? There are a lot in a lot of states that don't allow. Wow, you're in your money and and your just credit, 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 credit unions, unions. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the laws that we have to change in Oregon. So, so Oregon, right? you can do 250,000 so, yeah. per credit union. Don't yeah. worry, yeah. Five credit unions. You guys have a covered? We have five credit right. unions. Right. Right. City and money by the way, I do have a few credit unions. And by the way, I do have a question for Pat. I just haven't had a chance to edit it yet because I had the Mac Mini. Okay. So hopefully I can get that closer within the next week or so. Okay, that would be awesome. Yeah. Anyway. But, yeah, good luck. Habits, I mean, it's yeah, obviously good luck. Thank you for the support. So, I know it's not really weird. weird. I think I think it's more Are you doing testing the yeah, idea. Yeah, it's it's yeah, moving yeah, into a state bank okay. slowly and seeing chilly. if we have the support. Wish so, I had for yeah, you know, I, I, I don't think that it's yeah, tethered by the banks at all. Yeah. Um, I think that the base I would say, uh, where's Lasley? Yeah, where is Lasley? <laughs> this is kind of silly. Mr. Oh, there's a dreidel over there. <laughs> what? No, not dreidel. Sorry, menorah. <laughs> you got a menorah and a dreidel mixed up? There was a giant cement dreidel here. I'm sorry. Did you I see there the was a giant cement dreidel? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so cement makes a dreidel. It was a cement from Night River. And just so everyone knows. The on the side of it, so it just like, rotated. Oh, yeah. The owner of Night River ran. I saw that. That's what that was. That's what that was. Oh! Oh my gosh, that was great with the, the little uh, neon dreidel, yeah, yeah. dreidel marks on the side. I don't know how you play cement mixer yeah, I mean, dreidel, but. It spins around and around. Yeah, but it never stops. Exactly. So like, what am and I going to get? It's magically turned on. You just keep waiting. Yeah, yeah. It's dreidel. patience. It's a game that never ends. Uh, yeah. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm excited about well, the mark. We should be going good, probably cool. in the next five to ten minutes. Uh, I saw, Siri, there it is, right there. Oh, Siri, 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 Siri. So we have Occupy Medford, Medford uh, also joining Occupy Ashland here tonight because, hey, it takes all of us to make a group. Yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, we've been doing a lot of work with, with Occupy Medford, and so we've been going to each other's meetings, and we hope to expand that to Grants Pass and eventually Climate Falls, Rose oh, God damn it. all of Oregon. Occupy Rogue Valley, Occupy, Occupy, Rogue Valley turns Oregon, 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 Oregon turns Occupy, Occupy, Occupy Oregon. the United States, Occupy the freaking world. <laughs> world domination, that's what we're after. <laughs> I put, I put all my there he is. <laughs> Yep. So we got these little one-page handouts, kind of an overview of this. 
So I could do it here, or we could go, and if people didn't want to carry the stuff, then they could get it down there on the inside. But wait, okay. what do you think we ought to do? Um, you can hand them out here, right? This is so assume to be handed out right now. Do you want to go over it? Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. that's smart. Yeah. You guys may fly? Yeah. Because he's got it as real written in. Where's the? Is this the on and off? It's not the siren. I know that's that's the siren. You just press the button. The button that's always on. Okay. I, my hands are tied up. Thank you. Okay. Press down. Okay. Is this the? What is this that you're passing out? This is a flyer that we've made about what's happening tonight and why the divestiture from Bank of America is not only necessary but how you go about doing it. Very good. Very good. I will get one of those. Sure. I just don't want it right now. Hello. Okay. There we go. There we go. Hi. 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 What is it? Hello, everybody. Am I in the right? You gotta, I'm in the right place now. All right, thank you. Uh, my name is Rich. I'm with Oregon Action, and I want to thank all uh, these great friends and people for showing up today. You know, when they say this is what democracy looks like, sometimes it's cold and messy and you have to walk to it. But I feel really good that you're all here. Let me just say we're handing out a, uh, a little one-pager that's an outline of the issue that we're talking about tonight. So the fundamental part that we're talking about is asking the city of Ashland to move its money from Bank of America and to support the growth of local banking with a support for adding credit unions into the mix of where we can place our investments. So saying all that, all across the state of Oregon and all across the country, people have been looking at how we can support local banking in our cities. And what we found out is that it is not a simple one-step process. The cities are pretty booked in with their operational accounts and their investment accounts to a way of working that gets them the most money, essentially. That's, what they, that's their goal. We're asking what is the best for the community and how we can support our local businesses with the money and banks that actually make loans in our community and build jobs in our community. So let me just say what's gone on today. The television uh, stations have been out and, and are participating in this event. Uh, they came and did interviews uh, at Oregon Action and with Barbara Christensen, the city recorder. We've been in discussion with this. This handout has gone to the city council. There's varying views of how they're going to view it. But uh, the Barbara Christensen is on record on the television, at least what I heard from the television commentators, is no, we can't support putting our money in a credit union because it's too risky. And no, we're not going to listen to the public. I'm not going to have people coming in and helping us figure out how to deal with where we do our operational money. Now, that can change. Every time we go in, when we go in and talk, we have an opportunity to make change. So we're not assuming anything. We're going in in a respectful way, giving them the information that we have, sharing what other cities have done and what we can do legally in Ashland, and saying, fundamentally, can you partner with the community in helping us make this change? So let me see what questions people have about all this. So um, if we are going to speak to this issue, um, is this going to come up during public? Oh, crap. <laughs> is this going to come up during um, public hearings? Or is that the time when we're going to be able to speak to it? Okay. So, so one of the things that we did get was that they moved this uh, issue of the city investment policies from the consent agenda where it was, where nobody discusses it at all, to the new items on the agenda, which allows for public uh, discussion. And so we want to thank Barbara Christensen and, and Carol Voison for saying, yes, let's put this out into a public discussion. 
but that means it's not on right at the very first. We're going to have to go through old business and other things, but then it will be there, and all of us are able to speak. You fill out a form, and then you're able to speak if you would like to. Uh, we have speakers that are going to give their, uh, their pre-planned uh, position on where we are with this. Remembering that you only get three minutes, and then uh, Emory and other people have been there, veterans of this, they know you get that long and then boom, you're, you're done. And so we've got our pieces divided up. So I would encourage you, if you would like to speak, uh, read the uh, one pager so you've got a background of where we are at and then you're able to give your thing. Please don't repeat what other people have said. It gets old. We'd rather just have our, our main pieces and then give the city council the time to uh, do their deliberation and hopefully we'll come away. Yeah. Uh, how much money does the city of Ashland have in Bank of America? So they have zero in their operational accounts. How much they have in investments, we don't know. So the, the, the operational account is zeroed out, so the, the money that Bank of America is making is on the float that they do, yeah. Where did the figure of 17 million come from? 17 million. I keep hearing that number. Yeah, I've heard that too. There was a figure of 17 million. I haven't heard it. I don't know about the figure of 17 million. There's uh, generally, I think, the 25 to 30 million is about the amount that the city has in its investment pool. It moves up and down depending. It changes because when all the taxes come in, they have a lot, and then when they go out, they don't. So that's in the investment pool. And so, you know, the, the principle that we're doing here is not just the amount of money. Like when you and I move our accounts, we're not making an enormous debt in Bank of America. What we're doing is starting the principle of putting our money in our local communities where it belongs and keeping it safe there and supporting our local credit unions and local banks. That is the principle, and we don't want to get... Um, distracted by, well, we got money here, we got money there. What we do know is we've done our research and the work that we're asking the city to do can be done legally and it fits with Oregon laws and we do not want to be distracted by saying, someone saying, no, we can't do this.